2v2 just came out as an official mode. And I've seen a lot of tier lists lately that don't even have Azir on it, or he's like really low at like B or C, and I completely disagree. I've been playing a ton of Azir, and I've gotten top 2, or like first place, every single game I've played so far in like 10 games. And uh, yeah, I just gotta say, I disagree. I want to show you guys that Azir is actually S tier. Got a Cassiopeia as our duo. I don't know through him. My cooldowns are like very long already. Let's see if they can finish off the solution. Nope. Uh, let's see if they can beat Aurelian Slot. Except the kite is cute. I got three soldiers. Q ran out. Let's have to guide his Q again. And I accidentally walk into the fire. I wonder if I flash behind him there if I can move and like spawn my soldier in time. Damn. That was decent try. Alrighty. Um, well these suck. Let's reroll. I don't think Shrink Ray is like working on soldiers at the moment. It might be bugged. Or they just like change the interaction with it. Alright, let's get Phenomenal Evil. Like, I did not like any of those. I just wanted to keep the. I just wanted to keep rolling there. Yeah, I think Azir is so good because he scales so fast in this, has so much range, and so much burst and DPS. See a very efficient champion in 2v2. Not too many bad matchups. Only way I lose if I like die from like two screens away because they have like scoped weapons and they're playing like I don't know Twitch or something crazy like that. Go! It's the only way I like usually lose. All right. Control the middle. Wait for them to come into us. Okay, they're going for my Cassio. We are both late game DPS machines. But early game we're pretty weak, we need like an item or two. I'll try to kill our exile here. There we go, we get some money. I don't know if this is worth flashing for. Nah, I couldn't even get the plant. I wanted to see if I could, but honestly, it's pretty troll, not gonna lie. I wanted to see if we could outplay it. But nah, that's pretty troll. Really, Aurelian really Soul is like pretty good. I can see it, his uh, DPS is really good. He doesn't have to like use a lot of mana on like farming and minions and stuff. He can just fight. Alrighty, I'm gonna go Sorks. I love like Sorks gives like more magic pen in this mode than move speed, so it's like Azir scales even faster. Magic pen is so good on him in this mode. And uh, we're against like the full squishy lobby, so my burst damage is going to be really insane once we have Ludens. Alrighty, cannon ult, pretty scary. That champ, I feel like, is really disgusting, and every time I go against it, it's a bad time. Oh, he kited out pretty good there. Oh, nice. He wamboed. And then Diego, like, can't ult. Yo, they got bodied! Well done. Good job, Cassio. Any names in this lobby I recognize? Nope. Oh wait. Wait, Sky Tech? This guy might be a challenger. This guy's like a challenger. I remember playing in, playing against him in like solo queue and some like thirties. I think he was like an academy player for a bit. Yeah, that's a really good Cassio. That's what we needed. We have, we have like really freaking good feel between these two jumps. Got our first win, and we both got our first item, so I feel like we just outscale most of this lobby already. Here we go! He wants to focus on Aurelia, okay. I agree. A stronger champ than Rek'Sai.
Like, look at this peel. Holy. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I'm so obsessed with this mode because it's just how fast I get this go. I don't have to spend 20 minutes farming and like watching my bot lane get double killed before I can play the game. I right, well, unfortunately I use all my rerolls and these are poop. I might troll and try out the battle sled, but this route would be like way more useful. The longer they're CC for, the more I can just auto attack them for free, so we'll take the one second route. I don't think I've taken this augment yet. Okay. Lucian or Alien Soul, we got this. They beat us earlier, but they won't do it again. Okay, let's get out of that ult. I have to wait for plants and heal up. That did a lot of damage in me. Oh my god, he just wants the 1v2. Okay, that was really bad timing. And my ult missed Aurelian Soul there. I guess I misplayed that. <laughs> I flashed in, I tried to flash ult, but I got knocked up by the Aurelian Soul. I thought I could get it off in time and just like burst them, but unfortunately, I trolled. And Arduo and I, we don't have comms, so we're not like going in at the same time. For synergy, isn't quite there. I think we'll win anyway. We got 300 AP already, holy. Donald Evil is giving me 35 AP. Okay, nice. Nice, look at our damage, holy crap. Diego exploded. And that guy, like, Casio exploded the uh, cannon too. Very cool. Yeah, um, I haven't really explained it, but there are so many good augments for Azir in this mode. Make a mess here. How's Azir going? Yo, what's up, my friend? It's going good. I've gotten top two every game today, mostly first. Only time I lose is like when I just like my brain disconnects and I like get one shot by like a Rengar ult. <laughs> and I can't like zone these. Also, Rengar ult has been like bugged and I don't get the indicator, so I can't react to it as easily. I don't know that it's coming. I blink and my champ is gone. Yeah, look, I'm fed as fuck. I was fed in his lobby already. Like, if I just get to one item. Games start going really good. Oh. How did my champ get over here, actually? Is that a bug? I thought I went over the wall. Oh, that was really good. He's getting that one. Nice, yeah, my damage is just way burstier than his. See, I am actually getting pretty unlucky with the augments this game. Every single other game I've played today, which is like maybe 10 is your games, I've had amazing augments. And it seems like my luck is. Not so good this game. I guess this one works. This is really good for kiting. This is your likes. It's all item here. For my starting item and it's... Oh shit. Is on me? Against Cannon and Viego. So if Cannon like flashes on me, I can just zone me. Hopefully I have reactions. See, I can react. Holy cannon hurts. I said the Viego. Like, look at my fucking damage. It's kind of gross, I am, though. <laughs> I just get so many soldiers. I get so much haste. 
free in his mode. Really nice. Using the flashing ulti. Yeah, I respect it. I figured that's what he was trying for there. Like if I'm cannon, that's what I would like do. He must have not had flash. It's like the only way cannon can get on us. Alrighty, um Do I need to buy a void staff? I do not, so I can go Shadow Flame. Do I have 49 magic pen? I'm like almost doing true damage with these guys. Alright, we're guaranteed top two. Nice. We getting first though. Literally, he likes AP, magic, pen, attack speed, move speed, ability haze. So, yeah, he has so many good augments. Yeah. There's a lot of good stats you can get for free. Very, very fun. This mode entertains me so much, man. Um. I'm gonna. I could sell boots for like Banshees here. So that I'm hard to, uh. One shot. Let's try it. Oh nice, he has blood, blood letters curse. So that benefits me too. He like reduces their magic resist. Oh yeah, this like item makes you really tanky. 30 armor and magic resist. I should buy it more. He's coming up. Nice, I live! Let's go! First place. Alright, hope y'all enjoyed that. I'm gonna include a game too so you guys get some more content. Don't forget to buy the like button, subscribe for daily content, and I'll see you in game two. Alrighty, this is game number two. We got our Renekton as our duo this time. We're against Bane, Lee Sin, Fiora Swain, and Garen Syndra. And uh, I think we got a really good chance to win this against these champs. Do this pretty well into all of them. And we probably will do a lot better in the early game now that we have our Renekton. And uh, especially if the enemy Swain is AFK. What the? <laughs> Ignore him and uh, kill Fiora. <laughs> Dude, I feel so bad for Fiora actually. If your duo just like DCs in this mode or like actually queues up the troll. Oh. So that you don't have the teammate, it's kind of fun. Oh, he's here. He waited till Fiora died. <laughs> Pretty funny. Another reason why is your Zest is that you can just like one shot plants and like steal it from the enemy. Boy! Guys, if you ever kill someone with a zero E, you have to say bodied, okay? That's a rule. Write it down. Alrighty, let's get some better augments this time. Uh, so far, not so good. 60 ability haste. Ooh, or a magic pen. Maybe magic pen. I get enough haste in this mode. We'll go magic pen. Apparently, Cinder's OP in this. Is it? Yes, she gets um, her. What are they called again? It's at the tip of my tongue. Splinters, right? Gets her splinter stacks really fast. So by like 5 minutes, she's like already had like 120. Sorry that took me so long to think of. I couldn't remember the name for some reason. Alright, this is my like least favorite map to play on because it's like so small and cramped. And Vayne can get like easy condemns on us. Oh, that landed. I just one shot that plant. Oh, Vayne is shooting on me. Holy... Yeah, Vayne's like SS plus 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 tier in this mode. Her Q got buffed, which makes her a pretty good uh, early game champ, actually. And she scales to the moon. I one-shot it. Sorry. <laughs> I had three soldiers, so I like one-shot the plant, and I guess that fucked over my Renekton. Maybe he was trying to W it. Oh, 
All right, we got 25% magic pen and 20 magic pen, so my autos should be pretty chunky. This is the first time I've had like a early game champ while playing Azir on this mode. I feel like double scaling is probably the best. I just like say fuck the early game. The scaling champs are just too damn good. They scale too fast. Using a plant to reset my Q cooldown. Give yourselves to Shurima. And yeah, we just want to like control this area right here so we can reach both plants. Why is Garen isn't just like running in? He's playing so slow for some reason. I'm gonna one shot this plant. And mind one of my soldiers died. Ah. He's pretty weak early. Oh, a boomerang. Get him off me. Aw, oh, he had his outplay button. But it's all good. We got the Renek Tome with the full HP. We're Gucci. You get the dub. Yeah, you don't lose that much HP in the early game, so it's okay to play late game champs. Lose like Cooper loss. Alright, I can go Ludens this game because they're all pretty squishy. I'm just gonna save my money so I can buy item later. I've been doing this a scaling champ. Okay, I win most of my early game fights anyways, without extra goosies. Let me buy juice until late game. I can have item advantage in the mid game. Alright, Swain Fior, I don't think we faced him yet. Have we? Oh yeah, that was the very first team we fought. Alright, we just control right here. It's a pretty funny Swainy. Oh my god, he got one shot. <laughs> they lost so fast. Connect an early game burst is pretty sick. He scaled, baby. He's a one item monster. Very cool. Another reason why Azir is S3 in this mode, if you can get this lethal tempo and conquer literally his two strongest runes, like you just scale so freaking hard, man. It's a good time. Like, never in my life did I dream of being able to use conquer and lethal tempo at the same time. I hope they add Halo Blades in this, but I mean, it'd probably be really broken. What is on hit effects? Oshumi. It's like in Okay, I'm gonna focus on this fight, sorry. Ah Whoop. Okay, I didn't expect to get fear ulted by Garen there, my bad. Watch it, Renekton, I believe in you. I think he'll beat him because he has Gale Force. This is Eclipse. He's the he's some pretty big stat advantages over Garen here. Oh, and he is old. My, nice. <laughs> he Gale Force Blade Vaults me and holy. Any effect that me proc by basic attacks? Yeah. There's an augment in this mode that lets your abilities proc on hit effects, which is so good on his ear. Like natural dude damage. So it's proccing on soldiers. Pretty much only buy natural dude for the stats it gives. Because like the passive doesn't work, but in this mode you can make the passive work, which I think is so cool. I finally get to see what Azir is like with on hit effects. So much fun. Pretty OP. What do you know? It's OP. Alright, here we go. We're against Vainly Sin. We have to one shot Vayne somehow. Okay. 
Oops. Either kite her or... Alright, she's uh, quite strong. She's 10 and 0. She's tap dancer, so she's insanely fast. Does she have the vein? No problem. You definitely have to ignore Lee Sin next time. Oh shit, I just realized Lee Sin is on um, support. So, yeah, we definitely need to not waste anything on him. Just ignore him. I didn't I didn't know that at the time. I'll, I'll definitely just focus Vayne next time. Vayne is god mode in this game. Very strong. Alright, since we haven't been buying potions or juices, I can sell my um, starting item. I think next round and get like an item advantage on everyone. Oh, I was about to say, I win these and then like one Cinder Q hit me for 600 damage or something. Oh my. Holy shit. How'd she do that? Does she have gold, gold gauntlet? Oh, that's how she did that. Like, her Q usually doesn't do 600. Look at her AP, 679. Very gross. And she's got a... You see two AP from her, pa like from her passive. Very OP. Well, these are terrible. Ooh, this is really good. 50% attack speed? Quite OP on me. Yeah, these uh, augments are really good on me so far. Oh, I can't buy item yet. It's next round where I can buy two items if I sell Guardian's Orb. Throw a Turanectin, ignore Lee Sin, he's doing a uh, peanut damage. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. We figured out how to play against them, just hit the vein, it's a freaking support Lee. We don't have to worry about Lee like one-shotting me. <laughs> he can like one-shot me if he's fully healthy. Put that one in. Alright. Ooh, we're first place still, nice. Or we just got first place. Um, I can get Shadow Flame here. Oh, we get a Byron. Somebody get knocked out? Yeah, so someone gets knocked out. Yeah, as you can see here, I can just like buy two items. I'm gonna go try to play these minions. Um, I think a Banshee's get to play against Cinder. Uh, I'm not gonna buy anything yet. I'm gonna see who I have to fight in the final round. Okay, they're both just gonna rush the vein here. I think it's stunned. She won't die. They have to just like go in while Vayne has the shield though. Because the shield only lasts for like 10-15 seconds or something like that. But yeah, she lost the Morgana shield. So now she can she can get CC'd. Oh they got the Vayne, oh shit. Support Lee Sin, can he do it? I don't think he can. Actually, if he lands one more Q, oh, he has that augment that actually does damage. It's called Quantum Computing. And apparently, it did 4,976 damage that last round. What? That's broken. Alright, well, Cinder's knocked out. So now we're against Vayne Lee Sin, and we just need to kill Vayne. I'm just gonna go like full damage so we can one shot. If I go Banshees, I can't get like kicked. Hmm. Maybe Horizon Focus? Just full burst build, be just half the one shot thing. Whoa, Horizon Focus is buffed in this mode. More health and it does 5% more damage. Okay, it's a real item now. How did my placements go? I went 5 0. You can watch it on my YouTube. Alright, we won. One. Let's go! Alright, I hope I've convinced you that Azir is really good in this mode, but if not, I'm gonna include a game number three and see if y'all like uh, three game formats for 2v2. Let me know down below in the comments and yeah, buy the like button, subscribe for daily content, and I'll see you in game number three. Hey, what is up, guys? This is game number three, but this time I am joined by Heisman on the Wukong. 
And we're gonna run it back again. Uh, we're against Twitch Poppy, Soraka Fiora, and Jack Syringar. The Poppy Twitch is probably the scariest combo. I can just get shoved into a wall and then I can't play the game. While Twitch kills me from three screens away. Probably invisible. There's the Twitch. There's the wrap. Let him get all those. Nice, he's all healed up. That's good. Not sure how strong our early game is with Wukong. Oh, that was such a good dodge. Okay, got a lot of autos on Twitch there. That's super good. Nice, I didn't let him get any, uh, anything from the plant there. Alright, looks like... Is your Wukong pretty good early game? Sweet. No, you. Mythical. I can do this if I need the Andres, which... I don't think I do this game. I'll roll. Yep, he sucked too. I'll roll. Injured ult, pretty broken. That's gonna be so good for when Rengar is like pressing R in the late game. Oh, how do you think he's cool? I got you, Moosey man. Moosey says you're cool, Wiseman. You go for one shots with you, bit. Ah. Gonna stream you. Yeah. Over against. Soraka, Fiora. I think we have to kill Soraka or Fiora just like kills infinitely. Get the hell off me. Shit, they're getting all the plants. You fucked up. I got none. Oh fuck. Uh, the, uh, I don't think we're winning this one. I uh, am just getting wrecked. But I have Kindred Ult. Please plant spawn. Save me plants. Other plant. Please save me. I think it's doomed. Was <laughs> over that one. That was a weird one. We we let them get too many uh, plants in the early game there. Alrighty, four shoes. It'll probably be our hardest game yet of the last few we played. Hope we can do it. We'll be able to just like one shot them later. One shot these squishies. Against Rengar Jax. Just stay away from the bush. Throw him over there. An ult here because I'm about to die. I'll get him low enough for Wukong. Hopefully they're low enough for Wukong. Plant spawning, so if they get that, they might turn it. He ended up getting two, so he's got this, he's got this. Oh shit, the Jaxi might turn it. Oh, perfect flash, he wins, he can win now. He has to, he has to fight while Jaxi's down. He has to. Probably waiting for cooldowns. Oh my god, Jax is broken. He has so much armor, 150. Okay, the auto reset on the plant. Jax got this stun, and Jax has ult again, fuck. Good try. Close. Close. Maybe I altered a tiny bit too early, I'm not sure. Three tanky, five me. Yeah, the 150. Armor. Okay, dope. We're against Twitch Poppy. Wow, they've lost every round so far. Issues.
Last round could have gone better if I could have like ulted them both maybe. But they weren't like clumped up on me yet. Oh BC. I'll get a big cock for him. I mean black black cleaver. Oh, he's gotta kill the rat. Get away from me, dog. Get away from the come out of the Indus. Oh, your shit. At least I have my ult. Where am I going? Oh. In dog. Okay. Oh shit, that was a good play by Poppy. Oh, I couldn't get in range though. Use Kindred ult. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Ah. Oh. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have ulted like that. I could have saved my ult to kill Twitch. Let me get some gold back. Ooh, magic one. Gimme. Now I have 25% magic pen with 34 5 magic pen, which is uh, OP. Very nice. This is going to go on Poppy. Yeah, I guess you just have to hit who you can hit until like Twitch comes out. Yo, front to back. Yeah. Exactly how we want it. Okay. We are made by our choices. Nice. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Nice. He played that really well. And we just like kind of one shot the Ringo. Wait, I didn't have to use Kendra ult. Okay. Oh, this fight might take forever. Look at this healing. I think I want Saraga and Fiora to just lose. Because their healing is really unfair. Rock is like disgusting in this mode. Look at their augments. They have haste, so she's really fast. And you heal for 145 per 1000 distance traveled. She has that too. But their sustain is like really, really gross. That's one thing that can uh, beat Azir in this mode is just infinite healing. Like that's just, no one can really beat that. Alright, got Nasher Tooth. Relic is 100 AP, so I could go with it. Good go. Relic is uh, Magic Pen and 100 AP. Pretty good on this year. I play it like really easily. Okay, he bought the anti heal. So I won't need to then. Alright, we try to get on Rocka. She a flash. Power of the sun lives in hey, is our all ins working? Hey, you that? <laughs> yeah, bursted. Let's fucking go. Twitch without an enchanter might not be so good in this mode. Three knockups on our engage, true. Knock him up real. Well, this is a really long fight. It's Poppy, so thank you. 
Swiss Army. Alrighty. Let's buy. Hmm. Is that a void? I could go uh, Bloodletter's Curse and get. Thank you. Are we against these two? Let's do that. I want to get Thank you. I don't think I need void stuff because this will reduce 30% more outer. I think I can break my run. I hit who I can hit. Very cool that Jax has 3000 HP while being a killing machine. Pushing this way, knock up central, GG AP1. <laughs> That's the counter. Literally, literally, these two are why I took the uh, Kindred ult this game. Literally because of Jackson and Rengar like, just all inning me like that. I knew it would come in handy. Haha, <laughs> this rock is all alone. Kill her. She planned on like out sustaining them? Look at how hard she's trying. Oh my god, she's actually putting in a bit of work. If she were to just go for the plants, she'd last a bit longer. Kind of ignored the top one over here. Yeah, I want them to get kicked out because their healing is so unfair. Shit, they're still second place actually. Alright, um... Well, this sucks. These are terrible. I'll get Repulsor, I guess. Ooh, he had Erosion, that's really good. That's the one that reduces armor and magic resist. Every time uh, he hits him. Very nice. Oh hell yeah, when the autos hit for 420, you know it's lit. <laughs> We're like doing true damage to them. Alright, let's just all in this Twitch. Here's museum. There's auto the poppy. I need to fight on here away from the walls. Get away from me. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Here you go. Kill him. Kill him to death. The damage looks pretty insane. Freaking did it. Our all in combo is so good. Wait, two people just got knocked out. Okay. Alright, let's just focus the Raka and GG easy, right? And then we win them. Okay, rob it down. Unfortunately, I only have 2800 kill. I mean, 2800 gold because I maybe don't have enough kills. Not sure. Let's all buy potions here. Be as strong as possible. Yeah, we triple juicing. We all juiced up. I'll do as much damage as I can. Nice, good kites. Don't have flash anymore, but probably the money. <laughs> Soraka kind of went like Rambo there, no? Like she just like ran up as soon as the round started. Is it just be like hiding really far away while Theo like goes in and draws the like aggro? Nice Serotas. We do true damage. So I have up to 55% magic pen when I fully stack on um, Bloodletter's Curse. And then I have 49 magic pen, so... Yeah, I do true damage to both of them. Very cool. Very neat. Okay. Oops. I nearly all did that. Oh nice, I can 1v2, I'm so strong. Oops, I thought she'd go that way. 
Damage is nuts. GG's. So I hope you guys believe Azir is S tier now. Damage is really gross. And he's got some pretty good augments. The augments weren't even that insane in this game other than like thread the needle. I guess Kinder's good. But yeah, GG's. Body the like button, subscribe for daily content. And let's check out the damage chart this time. I haven't been showing it, my bad. Let me know if you guys want to see it in the videos. Ninety-three thousand damage. Very cool. Well, GG's. Body the like button, subscribe for daily content. And I'll see y'all next time. Oh, also, let me know what y'all think of 2v2. Do you want to see more of this? Do you like the three-game format, etc.? Also, I posted a movie yesterday. Let me know if y'all enjoyed that. Do you like five-game movies of me playing Tryhard Ranked? And yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.